Hey guys, welcome back to another popper video. We are playing some sweet today from our very good friend Kalikaz, so let's dive right in. Hey guys, as you can see here, we are playing some Sacrifice Glee, uh, a deck that I've obviously played previously on the channel, but um, Kali has done really well with this lately. I think he's played like three leagues and he's like 14 and one and something. But one big thing that I do like about this list is that it's only running Gast as sort of like a sack engine. It's not really going deep with um, anything else. It's not going with the uh, other one, the Freebooter or anything. It's got Garden and Gast, and Gast is mainly there because it also is a great removal spell for Crypt Gast, Crackland Charm, and etc. Um, but it also ramps if that's not relevant. So I'm really good, excited to try this. Um, it's fairly self expansion. We've got Rumble, great card in all these Glee decks. With three duresses, three safekeepings, one blood fountain, one witness, one knife blade. So we've kind of gone down on win cons, but you have a witness, which really helps you obviously chain through. So if you have a witness and a spare glee, uh, plus a twisted landscape, you can basically um, cycle through your entire deck. So there is a way to win there. Um, we've obviously got three eviscerators inside, four deadly dispute, four village rights. And I'm really happy and excited about this deck to try. We've got two refractors to sort of go there. And we'll just sort of like see how it goes. Um, sideboard's fairly concise. We've got four weathers for the aggro matchups, four snuff outs for the mirror, three mez fiends for whenever we need uh, more disruption, and then four drowning sorrows again for the aggro matchups. Straightforward and simple. See you guys for round number one. So here we are for round number one. We're on the draw. We have double twisted landscape, which is a bit awkward, but we can sort of work around that. Get a green source, get a well, get a black source, and get a green source. We have Gas plus Deadly Dispute, so all the treasures. Island makes you think it's most likely some sort of terror matchup, but it's not. It's fair. So, ooh. Ooh, baby, a triple. Shamlin Gast's really good here because it lets us um, kill a spell stuff sprite in response to a spell and all that sort of stuff. Ninja or no ninja? Moon Circa Hacker. Okay. So this can kill a kill the Moon Circa Hacker here. No issues there whatsoever. So I'm probably just going to sack this, get a green sauce, and then I could also deadly dispute kill this. Um, no, I think I'm going to duress. Just try and take some sort of interaction. Perfect. So we know they have a spell stutter. I'm going to sack this, get a green sauce. I'm not going to attack. So I'm going to use this to block. I think one, you're going to deep hours. Uh, they're on turn three, so they play this land. So they play the ninja. They have spell stutter sprite, brine barrow, miscreant. Okay, so they've got spell stutter sprite, brine barrow. Um, so I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to deadly dispute here, killing this. We don't want them drawing too many cards, and then we can rumble. We're looking for a brood scale here. Um, energy refractors sort of. Fine as well. I don't hate that. Make a spawn. The spawn can block if we need to, but it's most likely just going to. Most likely just going to village right it. <coughs> um, yeah. I'll just take this here. If they want a ninja again, that's fine. If not, okay. Okay, 3 dot 13. And we just need to sort of look at dealing with this spell stutter sprite in hand, really. There's combo. Um, hmm. so I guess I'm just going to play this out. I think. Do I play the refractor out? Do we think the refractor is going to resolve? Hmm. I don't think so. I think we just leave the refractor right until we've post combo, and then we'll probably look at village rights in this. Um, Brian Barrow and True is fine. So we'll block here, and then we'll village rights it. We could also Tamios it. That is also something we could do. So here they've got spell stutter plus two unknowns. So if I safe keep in this block, block safe keep in this. Do you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block here, give this indestructible, and then try and force because then we can use this spawn here. And gain into is obviously not not free. Like it's not nothing at all. To the random flavor text. I just realized there was a random bit of flavor text there on there. 
So we'll take this. We'll take three out of twelve. No ninja. Get a forest. Um. So I'm gonna play refractor here. I think. See if they're gonna spell stutter sprite this. Do they have another spell stutter? No. Okay. So they have two cards. Um. I'm gonna block and then village writes this. They have the other counter, which is quite annoying. We've got double, obviously, Glee here. But no other. I'm going to block here. Okay. And a ninja something else. We will... Unfortunately, they can spell stutter this too. They do tap out, so in theory... The... Okay. Never mind, I was going to say they might not go for this. Um, and that's basically because we could still have combo. Wellspring, Brute Skill. Do they have a snap? Let's force them to have a snap. Basically, going to force them to have a second snap here. May not even if they... God's sake! Uh, two, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. They did. As if they found a snap. Um, not that it mattered, right? Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we died exactly. All right. So, we want Drown. Uh, do we want Mezfiend or Snuffle? <laughs> Probably Mezfiend, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like this side of things is probably better to cut. Right, I'd rather. Because, uh, obviously, Jurest doesn't really hit a lot. And then cut a... Uh... I think this is fine. We'll go this way. It might not be the best player, but... I think it probably is. Um, I think we can keep this. So I'm going to lead on Ghast, I think. Just because I would like it in play. And then I'll probably play Calendar Garden Village, right? Especially if they play a one-mana fairy. Um, I could also just play Swamp Deadly just with this, kill this. Which I do also think is a possibility. There you go, double bottom. Great. I actually think that's what I will do. Mm. Or do I play the Ghast? No, I'm going to play this. we still get a treasure out of this. And then we'll kill this fairy. Means if we also draw a Mezfiend. Wait, what? Oh, the Mutagenic Grove. I was thinking to myself, what's going on? Why is this still around? It just didn't have any animation. Okay. Two mana ninja. Sure. Sure thing. Mutagenic Grove, though. Interesting. Um. So let's start with a Rumble, I guess. Nightblade Shambling Gast. I'm gonna take the Shambling Gast, I think. Boop. And then I'm gonna play the Shambling Gast. Um, and this basically means I can block here and kill this. Minimizing the amount of cards they get off it. They can force a snap if they really wanted to. But I don't know if they are gonna attack the R. Have that second mutagenic. <laughs> sure. So we have enough cards to sort of stop them doing things, but... Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play this. I'm actually going to sack this now. So obviously we have a Nightblade in the bin with our only wink on. Um, we do have an Evolution Witness to sort of get there, which is fine. No Brin Barrow Intruder. Of one mind, huh? So I don't mind them, obviously, if we can resolve a... Um, a village rights, I don't mind. Uh, especially if we draw into something like a Drowning Sorrow. So they're probably going to spell stutter this. I'm thinking about it. So if they say spell pierce this and then go for a I will pay still. Um, I think it's probably the best play to do. Mm, just timing a, a good Drowning Sorrow is key probably to this matchup. Double glee, huh? Okay, so we've got two cards here, which obviously work well together. Yes. Mezfiend Village Rights, always great. And now if they play... They're on turn four, so they've played land. So even if they... I can say even if they play the fairy, they can't Mezfiend. So I'm going to Mezfiend here. And then I am going to Village Rights it. If they want to spell stutter the Village Rights, that's fine. It's not fine, but... I'd counter it, okay. And we get the leaves, then we get the enters. So they have a null of one mind fairy seer. So with two glees right now, we can play around the null. 
So do we just hit the f uh, ah. I think we actually have to So we haven't hit the other mine to stop the card draw But they've got two pieces of card draw anyways So I think we have to take the interaction right As annoying as that is Um Yeah Slightly annoying. So they can just play Fairy Seer plus uh, Other Mind plus also attack for two. So they have a lot of cards here. Uh, yep. There's an F6 here. The uh, hard counter on the. Hard counter on the Village Rights was actually rather annoying. Uh, what did they do with the. They did one top, one bomb. So they've got one card that they already wanted. Do we take four here? Uh, I think we block. It could be annoying if if we uh, we block this one because obviously that one just draws and discards. Discard the island. So they have three cards in hand, uh, all three which we don't know, and one was a top, and they double bomb. Not good, not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another fairy scene, huh? Uh, also, now if they do have a spell stuff sprite, our drowning sorrows can be counted. Two, four, five, six. I do need to draw a Drowning Sorrow here and hope that they don't have a counter spell. Is basically all I'm hoping for right now. Because I die next turn, right? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, I don't exactly die. I mainly die. Double Mutagenic is slightly annoying into a counter spell plus a null. Like, you can't win them all, but like we tried to interact with their board and slow them down. And all else failed. I shouldn't have tapped 2 green. Because I draw a root. Okay. Uh, a six. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna block the two here. Just stop a card. They're on four. One, two, three, four, five, dot three. Uh, they discard an island, and we draw a drowning sorrow. Drawing a viscera is in sight. So viscera is inside this. Cool. And then we have nothing to sack, and we die. See you guys for the next one. Um, I think on the draw, we can actually keep this hand for round two. Uh, one lander. Oh my god. Swear good if you're on fairies. Blue, red, huh? So we've got Shamblin Gast here, and then we can just village right this to get a treasure. Okay. Just stack up a. Okay. Yep. You do you. Land. Third village right, huh? So we're going to create a treasure anyways. I've got a spell pierce. No. Our opponent said misclick. Which I am deeply sorry about your misclick, but cannot help it. Uh, let's wellspring here. I'm assuming they don't have a spell pierce, otherwise they would have spell pierced the village rights. Like it ends up mattering because obviously we drew the refractor, um, the misclick, and we. I guess we would have drew a land because we obviously if they kill it, we just don't village rights. We wellspring, and still get a treasure, right? So. Do this, and let's. I'm gonna refractor now. That unless they've, if they've got to lose focus, they've got to lose focus. But I'm just gonna cast refractor. Um, no reason not to. Four mana here, for Commodore. Interesting. Shields are down. So let's village rights this. Dig for combo. Let's duress them. Scred, scred. So we take one of the screds. Uh, let's play this out, get another black source. Um, <clears throat> so they're probably going to auger here. One, two. They're going to attack for five, then auger. We'll probably look at evolution witness, and then when they look at scred, and then, we'll, uh, then we will uh, <clears throat> recycle it. Interesting that they tapped island island here, as opposed to... Uh, Leaving the mountain up. So they're probably going to cast Ponder now. Don't see a reason why not. Yep. We could also look at Tamio's safekeeping. As well. So they draw for Monarch. So in, they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when they've got a Scred here end of turn. We could actually safekeeping. Assuming that they... Uh... Cool. Fine. I'll take 6. Find out 9. 1, 2, 3... Eight is that? So they could play Terra here as well. Of five cards, we know two of them. So I'm gonna play this land. I'm gonna play a Shambling Gast. But this can look a blocking and killing this. 
Uh, we'll attack for two. Because I want this Monarch. Cannonade. How do I want to best go about this? So, I guess I'll probably put a count on this, right? It's probably best. Because then it becomes bigger. Anyways. Scred that we know about. It's safe keeping this. It's indestructible. This doesn't happen. Adapt. We get this. We create a true. No, we don't. We. Hmm. We can kill the auger. Kill the auger. And then play another one. Oh, we attacks. Taking the monarch is obviously great here. Uh, we've played a land right, so. Play this out. Uh, draw. And then cycle shoot. So they've got three cards. One's a terror. Is that where we're at? Malevolent Rumble is obviously great. Play the island. A different cut type of island. Play the terror for one mana. So at three unknowns. Two unknowns being two terrors. So I think I'm going to take... Take five here. I think it's the best bet, right? Take five. As opposed to kill this. Like, we need the one one to actually tank five damage. This tanks two damage. They draw a card, so they're back up to four unknowns. Eviscerator's Insight. So it's Eviscerator's Insight, this. We need to look at surviving one more combo turn. Brainstorm, sure. So they're up to three cards, but they can only have one piece of interaction, is that? So we draw. We draw again. We draw, okay. Um. So then I'm going to rumble. Rumble, rumble. Spell Pierce. Uh, let's say no. Interesting to decide to do that before I play a land. So I'm going to Colony Garden here, I think. It's probably the best bet. So then we go block, block, go one. Galvanic Discharge this. Let's protect it. You don't get any energy either. No energy for you. Mega one, one. Um, so we're going to go block, block, block. Take two? Is that? Five, okay. So they go from one card to four cards, back down to three. So three three cards, potentially two pieces of interaction. Cannonader. So that's killing this, killing this. Five, four. Um uh, uh, anyway I don't die here. It's so annoying that it doesn't kill this. Why can't you be breath weapon? Eight we go to so that's nine we're taking so what do i need here i need to make a treasure and hit the third safekeeping yeah create a treasure and and hit the third safekeeping here go to safekeeping nope <sighs> why are we so unlucky mez fiends come in what do we cut also kind of want to snuff out too. So Rumble. Glee, village rides. Do we take out Blood Fountain? Mm, maybe a safekeeping. Try and just rip the hand apart. Seems like the best bet. <clears throat> this is fine. Do we lead on Blood Fountain here? Or do we lead on Tapland? I'm saying Tapland. Because then we go Wellspring, right? Yes, I'll play this. Uh, I'm just going to get this now just to save time. There's no real point in holding up what I'm missing, yada yada, all that sort of stuff. Relic go. Let's have fun with the relic go. Uh, do we start with rumble? Let's start with rumble. There's a world where we combo off. Technically. Also means that they, uh, they can't hit specific things like insight as well. Good, Good thing to have. I'm just going to F6 because I'm not going to... The only way I would slightly get punished there was if they uh, played Mountain and then Galvanic discharged this. I have 6 in. Um, let's play Wellspring. Are they going to spell pierce this or annul it? No. I'm going to play... Whamp. Play Blood Fountain. They might actually... Can't... Okay. No, they don't. Um, and then we're just going to sit here and hope that we can get these through. Mm. Slightly annoying game one to be fair, like was super close, but they managed to get out of just get out from under us. Ash Baron, sure. 
But I'm not losing faith. We have probably got a decent hand, decent setting to double Relic, huh? Like, this sort of stuff I don't really care about. It doesn't really matter. It's just all noise for the grand scheme of things. Um, so I'm going to Eviscerator's Insight first. Obviously, put two things in the bin anyways, so it doesn't matter if this resolves or gets countered. It rests, huh? Um, I'm going to pass. So we have Wellsprings in the bin, so we're not concerned about the relics just yet. I also have a Twisted Landscape if I need to. Ooh! Oh, six, go up to eight. I am actually going to take this opportunity to um, Deadly Dispute. If they have a spell pierce, fair enough. We have combo, and duress, and safekeeping, and a treasure. So, what are we going to do here? Okay. Um, we're discarding. Insight? Yeah. Could have been Shamlingast, actually. To be fair. They might even look up Poppin'. Tiger player exiles a card. Tiger player exiles a card. Give me that wellspring discarded. Oh. Let's see if the jig is up. See what we're working with. Another brood skill, huh? Can I look at your hand, please? Please, sir. Can I have a look at your hand? Thank you. Spell pierce or discharge. So let's take the spell pierce. So you have discharge in hand so let's play this swamp play this <laughs> play this you go for the discharge and i have a safekeeping whop 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 where you going i wasn't finished sometimes you just got it all huh sometimes you just got it all i do probably think i want this in um, what am I taking out though? I'll take out another room. I'll probably actually take this out, right? No. Blood Fountain, maybe? I think Blood Fountain's more likely a hindrance. Yeah. Got for that. This is what I expected the uh, matchup to go so far. Like, is the dude just dirtle quite a bit? That's kind of what I want. So we have combo. Well, combo, but nothing else. Let's keep. We can sculpt the rest of the hand around it. So we're going to landscape for a black source. Then play Colony Garden. You know, land step. Bop, 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 bop. Augur. I'm assuming. Nothing. Nothing. Sure. Next one. Raw. Tamio's safekeeping. That sounds like protection. Do, 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 Single black source might be tough. But other than that. And cycle show. I just need them to get into a position where you know what? Where the tap law, like it can only really be certain things and then go for it there. Um yeah, we'll figure it out. We will get there. Wellspring, huh? Hmm. Oh, I might just play the wellspring actually. And then look at inside this. If they want to count this, that's fine. Triple glee. Yeah, this can go. Got all the glees. Look at all these glees. And brainstorm, huh? Hmm. Four mana. You know, like, tap out for a... No way. Um. We can't punish them, unfortunately. I'm gonna rumble. I think rumble's probably the best bet to do first. Mezfiend, huh? Or do we get a black sauce? I feel like I want to get the black sauce. No. I don't want to mesfiend him, see what they're working with. Yeah. This might be the correct player. I don't know if it is the correct player, but that's what I'm going with. Because if they're working with nothing, we can literally just try and squeeze this in with one protection spell. Like next turn, we can actually safe keep in this, depending on their hand. Gorilla Shaman, Cannonade, Counter Spell. Do we just take. Counter spell here. So then they have to cannonade in their turn. Like Gorilla Shaman's fine if they want to play it. No covered island, sure. Like, do they want to cannonade here and then hold up counter spell? Like, I'm assuming not. One, sure. I will take the one. I'm not the drill. Engine Refractor is a very good one. 
So we play Brood Scale. Right, so assume the Drew Air. We play Brood Scale. Brood Scale is played. We then play Glee. Then what? Then we can safe, safe keeping this to keep the count spell when they've got a Glee. But then that's it. So then I then have to this raise inside here. Which is the play, right? We know they've got nothing. Oh, they've not really got anything. Another Brood Scale. Need a land. I need a land, probably more black sources. Those are neither. So then I have to sack this, play this, get a land. And a swamp. And a play swamp. And then we'll play this. And then they're going to try and cannonade here. Which actually doesn't really matter. Oh, they got double cannonade. Okay. So they're down to cannonade. Cool. And then we have safekeeping here. For the Mezfiend. End of turn. They don't do anything. Okay. Brainstorm is absolutely horrendous draw for us. Yeah, put back the Gorilla Shaman. They do then have access to Cannonade 2. Plus something else. Oh, come on. I don't think it really matters that much because they see one extra card, but still. So they've only got three mana available, but they've got, what, two, three cards. So they have Fiery Cannonade plus two unknowns, most likely. Okay. So they've likely still only got Fiery Cannonade, though. Yeah. And let's see if that's the line they're going to take. Like, I'll take the one. Okay. Second Black Source is useful. But that really matters now, but... More just another land is useful. So, Brood Scale off this. Glee off this. Do I have Brood Scale off this? Do I have Brood Scale off here? And go Glee. Then I can sack this. To, yeah, so I do it off this, right? So, Brood Scale. Obviously, if they tap out for Cannonade, this doesn't do anything. Like, tapping out for Cannonade just means I can pop this to make this bigger. So then I go, the only thing is, that's awkward here, is if they have a counter spell for this particular glee. Yes. Uh, that's fine. But then I have to, oh, I have to Tamiyo's this, right? Yeah. So you get your counter spell back. That's gone. You've got some irrelevant cards. This is in play. This is then sacked. And then it always, yes, always yield this. Yes. Always yes this, or always yield this, sorry. And then that should be, not necessarily game, but pretty much game. Our opponent has just said, other than very big, any wink on this turn, I said, don't you, I got to dig. But as you can see here, we have a lot of digging. Uh, black. Uh, let's village write it first. This doesn't actually matter. Uh, suck. Black. Suck. Whee! It doesn't actually matter about playing this either, really, because it's not really achieving anything. Um, it gives us another treasure, but doesn't actually do anything. Uh, black. We were just digging. Ah, there we are. What the hell? Ah, nearly just weirdly skipped through my turn. Press W. Let's not press W anymore. Whee! Night blade. We got there! Woo! We got there! Let's go! We never give up hope. See you guys for round number three. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number three. Uh, we can't keep a one lander, especially with a forest. Can't keep a one land duress and either. I don't think. Good five. No, come on. Of course, our opponent has seven. I'm not going to four, right? But I just have to try and draw a land. We don't want this. Oh, this is fine. So we're probably going to have to bomb this. Go that way. At least this is a castable spell if we draw another forest. And then village right if we draw a black source for the colony garden. Gas would have been good, but I don't have a black source. And they're on green blue. Yep. No attacks. I'm assuming they're on um, purple fog. No, they're on Tron. Cool. Can I draw a land? No, computer says no. No land for you. Wait, the pretty much there. 
No, they don't. I don't even know what type of Tron they're on. So they've got Tron. I'm assuming the Flickertron, but I don't actually know. Right. So, where do we want to start here? Probably bypassing the turn. Will be my thought. Uh, they're going to sacrifice... Right? So they're going to sacrifice the map to get a... a little bit of mine. And then we'll deadly dispute. I don't know what the plan. Like, I'm assuming Flickertron, but I don't know. Uh, then we'll look at playing Land Rumble plus Ghast. Um, let's play Ghast. There's the Ghast Resolves. The Ghast Resolves. Okay. We'll play Land. Play Rumble. Uh, Rumble gives me Wellspring, but not Duress, unfortunately. But at least we've got a uh, Wellspring plus Eviscerate's Insight. We can also combo next turn if they somehow manage to decide to tap out. Yeah. They're playing Flickertron. Who'd have thought it? They get an instant of some description. They get an impulse. And then an impulse. Yep. Impulse. You got it. And the big problem with Flickertron is basically they uh, operate on our turn. So they basically have every everything they could possibly need on our turn because they just pass the turn now. Now they've a Tron. They're just sort of chilling. Another tower. Sure. Like I somehow have to try and work through all their cards in hand. With grave difficulty. So let's start by probably village rights in. Make a treasure. Turn this into like blue or something. Do I go for this? They prohibit this. Do I go for this? Do we go for it? Yeah, screw it. I can't be bothered thinking anymore. Go for it. What, is this working? Is this a yes? Have we got it? What? Um, yeah. No, surely not. No, I don't ruin my fun. Well, spring. Um, I'll play this. Leave the treasure, I guess. Yes. Yes. Deadly dispute as well. Huh. Shambling ghast. Um, I'm more amazed that we're actually still going ahead. Uh, black. Uh, what? We're still going. Energy refractor, huh? Energy Refractor's a great card. I didn't have any Wincom, but let's go. Let's go. Oh, uh, did we have a... No. I was going to say, did we have... So there, we had a second... Uh, we would have drew a second Glee, which meant we could... Well, which meant we could activate this. Wellspring. Play the Wellspring. Put the Glee on here anyways. And then Eviscerate's inside the Wellspring. And then basically from that... Uh, any if we found it a twisted landscape, we sort of won the game. Well, we definitely won the game there. We would have got it. Woo, baby! I can't believe we got there. Let's go. So we want these three. Uh, I'm fine with this. Probably cut the blood fountain as well, and probably a safe keep. And they've only got a limited number of removal. Yeah, let's go for. That. I can't believe we won that game in a multi five. I cannot believe it. So, we can't keep this hand for game two. Um, we'll probably most likely mulligan this. Just waiting for our, for our opponent. Bloody Flickertron, huh? Oh, well. Um, this hand's much better. I don't know whether to bottom a land here or bottom the refractor. Um, I think it's probably a land. Like, a forest isn't really worth that much, right? Yeah, and I'll most likely draw another. Especially with having the treasure from Shambling Gast and that. I think that's probably the best bet. As strange as it sounds. No map, huh? Um, yeah, let's go Gast. I was thinking of Duress in there. In all honesty. Refractor. I was going to say for colour reasons or getting... So I'm going to village right here. Get a treasure. Uh, well, I don't need the... Calmly guard now. I'll just play a swamp and then I'll duress them. Try and stop anything to do with getting Tron or any form of coloured mana. Rolling Thunder, Mystical Teach, and Lorien Revealed. Um I guess I'll just take the Lorien Revealed. Seems not the worst. They'll probably play Thornwood here. Uh six. And then that means they can play Murmur Mystical or Mystical Teachings on three. Yep. Deadly Dispute. Seems like the perfect card. A perfect time, I should say, to play my uh 
plant token. Okay. Hmm. Trying to think what the best way forward is here. So obviously we've got the village rights. They're gonna play the mystic. Yeah. It's like a, if we've got combo, we've got combo sort of thing. Uh, let's go, baby! Black. This. Oh, shield. And black. For Nightblade. Sometimes you've just got it. See you for the next one. Hey, guys. Welcome back here to round number four. Uh, we're on the play. We have a zero lander, so let's mulligan that. Uh, this hand's much better. We are almost there. We will bottom a land here and then start. We'll probably just start on a colony garden and call it a day. So we are against White Weenie, huh? So from that, what do we want to do? We want to Wellspring. We just want as many cards as possible, right? Duress is probably okay, though. Um, we can probably use it to uh, obviously take Thraben Charms and stuff out the hand. Discard the strands, I'm guessing. Everyone likes to discard strands. Yep. Attack for one. Sure. Sure thing, honey bun. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's Jurass. Battle Screech, Battle Screech. Yeah, I don't mind that. Not the end of the world. Uh, so there are four cards in hand, and that's their four. So they're probably Eagle of the North here. I would imagine. Getting a Basic planes and then play Lunark Veteran and flashback the uh, thing. Okay. No, they don't. Uh, so we'll block here and then we'll eviscerate inside this. Wham. Ooh. Yes. Tamio's safekeeping, huh? Um, two, three, four. So I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll play Refractor here. And then we'll do this now, I'm, I'm guessing. It makes sense to do it now, anyways. Uh, do I play this now, or do I pass? Uh, I probably pass. Crack the clue, sure. Like, we are on a clock, don't get me wrong, but we have safekeeping again, too, so it's not the end of the world. I did a green, that's fine. So they have Battle Screech. Yeah. Make your one more, that's fine. Make your 1-1 one, one, a 2-2. Two, two. I'm assuming they're just going to Battle Screech, attack for 5, and then flashback Battle Screech. Add a guess. I can attack with this and this. Yep. And then Battle Screech from hand, I would imagine. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. And then we hopefully draw a Glee. Basically, all I want is just a Glee. Just a Glee. Glee. That's a Colony Garden. Um, so let's do this. 3, 6, 9, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess we could, in theory, kill a bird as well, yeah. Let's do this. Have I played, I played the, uh, plant token. Okay. We could also look at killing this. We're just gonna fly. Ball. Nice. I'm gonna block here. Block here. Okay, and then I'll village rights this. Another. Stop with the. One, two, three, four, five. So they're going to get to the point where they're going to hard cast this. Basically, seems like their plan. Refain's informant. And they're going to flash back here. Mm hmm. Just kind of land. The Raven. So they've got an eagle. Eagle in hand. And they're going to flash back air. I'm going to yield to an extent. So do I want to village right this now or do I wait? It's basically, I guess I can do it with the without losing the treasure as well. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we gain more mana. Right, treasure. I just need a combo. They're lands. They are lands. That's a glee. That's not a glee, so that's a fountain. So I'm going to play this out. For one, two, this, one, two, this, two, and this. And they get what? Plus, plus one person first strike. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Cracky click. Okay, so they're not cracking it now. Then it hope to avoid a 
they're not playing that now, so I need to avoid. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the card I'm thinking of? Um, Guardians Pledge. Need to avoid Guardians Pledge. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Put down a bird, I'm assuming. Two, four, one, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Two cards in hand, one's an eagle. I have a turn, really. I realistically need to keep everything alive of mine, right? I mean, more, keep my treasures around. I can let one of these die. Two, six. So, I guess actually I can, yeah, I can, if I do this, right, this becomes a three, then I make a spawn. Yes. This can kill here. And this trades here, and then I take one, two, three, four, five, like so. And they can't give protection from colorless because not a thing. Oh. Yep, still got the eagle in hand. Uh, I'm trying to think what the best thing to do here is probably what just eviscerators in sight. Is that it? Glee. Do I just eviscerate us inside the 3-3 three, three here? Eviscerate us inside the 3-3. Three, three. I know this way, right? Because then I can safe keep and plus. Do I eviscerate us inside this? Give me Glee. Come on. Glee, 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 Glee. Never didn't have it. So, we now need to somehow kill this, this, and this. Uh, always yield. So, we get two redraws in the forms of Twisted Landscape. We get a redraw in form of a Blood Token. So, let's do this for red. Green. Black. Cycle. Just give me something good. Ooh, Engine Refractor. That's the redraw. Drawing through your deck for this sort of stuff, though, is slightly annoying. Or trying to draw through your deck, I should say. Uh, red. Red, black, and green. Got 33 cards. We have a lot of... Uh, oh, cancel. Uh, green. We have a lot of hits. Obviously, anything that draws a card, like Eviscerator's Insight's perfect. Uh, black. Deadly Dispute. Uh, we need to discard a card. Discard in the swamp. And that is us dead, right? One, two, three, four. I can shamlin gas, but I can't get rid of it. Um, I attack for a bunch. Kill this, make an extra spawn. It's about as good as it gets. And then die. One, two, three, four, five, six in the air. Yeah, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the air. Yeah, yeah, we had three draws and we whiffed. That's really annoying. And I bet we're, we're there in the next few cards after that. Well, there's a... Um, so Rumble gets nothing and then we whiff anyways. Okay. So we don't want Duress. Duress seems bad here. We probably just want Drown. Do we want Weather? Maybe we don't want these two. Just a Weather or two. Uh, safe game's probably fine. We'll probably cut a rumble or two, actually. Keep the witness in. I don't think I need blood fountain, but I think witness will do. Like, I don't think I want to be looping. Now, right, let's see if we can get there. So, they do have more. Oh, there's the glee. So, they do have more. They will have more sideboard hit for us now. Um, but, always will. We'll get there. Hopefully, find some hit ourselves. Obviously, we've got drown. We've got weather to survive the uh, onslaught. I don't know if I want to rest or safe keeping. I would say probably safe keeping is probably better, but what do I know? Uh, I've, do I want a treasure or do I want. Probably want a treasure, right? I don't really care about killing this one, one. I don't think. I'm going to do this now, like in this order, in case uh, they do attack. Might as well save one damage. There's no reason not to. So I could also respond to it now. Kill the 2 1. And then don't make a treasure. Um, I think I'm going to do that actually. Just the 3 2 is actually quite prevalent. Like, if this is a 3 2, like it does actually just 
take quite a lot of time. Um, like it takes a lot of our clock off, gives us less time to do what we need to do, and we just need to amass cards, amass some sort of inter interaction. Like we have combo right now. We play this. Then we play. Do I deadly dispute this? So if I deadly dispute this, I make two, two treasures, and then I can combo. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That seems much better to me. Then playing a wellspring, which I can play on the backside of the glee combo. Yep. Gaining one. Wonder if they're gonna play a land. I would assume yes. Yeah. This also means they're less likely to have any interaction here. No attacks. No playing land. Oh, did they play the land here? Did they miss a land drop? Sweet. Uh create a treasure. So the create a treasure here, create a treasure here, and that's double green for brood scale plus. And I hit refractor, that is absolutely beautiful. So one and a green, this, this, one and a green, this, always yes, always yield, yes, sack, always yes, yes, refractor, yes. I'm going to use the rumble last, just I prefer to use this draw, these draws first. Black, we are drawing, drawing, oh. I don't know why I like to do it this way as opposed to using the treasure, but here we are. Sometimes you've just got it. Whap. That'll make us go through it. They are. Ah, how delightful. <laughs> what a nice person. Let's go. Do, 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 do. When you play a white weenie, I guess you've got to try and take all the wins you can get. Even if that is timing our opponent, your opponent out. The uh, the combo obviously is quite intensive. Like, the time intensive with the whole um, cycling with, through refractor and such. But So I'm not surprised, to be honest. Not surprised. Bye bye, Mr. White Weenie. Carry on going. Unsure if the weather's needed. But I also prefer, I, I like Rumble less post board. Uh, this seems fine. Above two sideboard cards, we've got Calendar Garden, Wellspring into Drown. I'm, I'm suffice with that. Uh, also got Rumble as well. But we'll likely do Rumble, we'll likely Rumble post Drown. Just to keep the spawn around. Fwaben Inspector, Fwaben, Fwaben. Hee 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 hee. I'm a white weenie player. Hee yee hee yee. At least the village rights is also good. Um, we get to block, play the village rights. Uh, block village rights, the plant token, then untap and drown. Need to be cautious of obviously um, poor skyfisher starts. Standard bearer, sure. You know what dies? That dies too. Do you know what that dies too? Side two. Okay, so we're gonna block. We're gonna village rights. We're gonna untap and drown. Whatever the player. Block. Any traits. Whee! Ooh, drown. A second one. Gonna play nothing? Um. I mean, okay. Uh, this. Cameo's safekeeping, huh? So we're gonna play this, I think. We'll block anyways and we'll discard a safekeeping, right? Crack clue. Sure. I just want to commit just that slightly bit more to the board. I also don't want them to have three mana open in particular. Three mana open is really awkward for um, Guardian's Pledge. I know we have double drown, but still. i block here. Block whichever one. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do something else? Oh, Skyfisher. Bounce the Thraben. Yep. Play the Thraben. No playing of Thraben. Sure. So I guess do I just rumble first. I think rumble first's fine. I can get a brood scale or a land. Brood scale's fine. And then we're gonna go drown. Kill this. Maybe I don't need weather and maybe I need snuff out. Maybe that's the answer. Uh I think this is fine. Another black source, it's also another land. Fifth land means I can obviously attempt to combo. They're holding up mana though, they're holding up two mana, so they've probably got to destroy evil. Which again is not also also not a good thing. 
They're attacking us for two. Coalition on a guard. Well, how the hell am I supposed to beat that? How am I actually supposed to beat that? I definitely needed snuff, not um weather, clearly. Um let's do that. Then practice this for a uh, block. I need to get to a point. Um I need to try and get to a point where I can kill this somehow. I don't know how, but I'm gonna thraven inspector this. Don't don't thraven champ. No! I need to determine where you didn't have a thraven champ as well as three side two sideboard cards. Like seriously. So we're gonna look at we'll take the four here. Um we'll likely eviscerate his insight in the their turn. No, in our turn. Six cards and a nine. Okay, so we have combo again. We need I don't know what we need. If this weather wasn't a weather and was a snuff out, which it sh probably should be. Yeah, let's just let's just pass. We can't die here. I need to find a second drown. That's the game plan. I probably want to sack this as well. Yeah. Okay, block this. And then pay three. Do this. Draw Nightblade. Shambling Gast. Double Shambling Gast works also. Right? So if we Shambling Gast, then find another Shambling Gast. And then drown, that kills this. And then allows us to combo two. Jeez. What a long winded long winded way of killing a two four. Yes. Uh three also kills uh third one also kills this and this. Yes. Two minus two. Investigate. Uh what's the best? So we've got our lands to do all this. So we're gonna Shambling Gast. I don't even know what the best thing is. Shambling Gast is it Nightblade? And Nightblade's pretty good at blocking here. And then we can also, worst case scenario, safe keeping it. Or we can even eviscerate his insight plus safe keeping. Yeah. And that's sort of our game plan. I'm doing this in case they have another um, Thraben Charm. We'll do it this way around too if they do. Um, they're going to attack, huh? They're swinging just in the air. No weird double blocks. Okay. We'll take two. Mm, okay. Deadly dispute, huh? Let's try deadly dispute here. We'll just create it because I'm, I'm just gonna try and find a second round. I think that's probably the best bet. Because I'm gonna weather here. I think deadly dispute treasure. Keep the chain going. So can we get a shambling gas back? Yes. Do I want to? Probably not. So we're gonna. Guess I'm gonna do this. More just for an extra spell, extra life, and then we'll weather. We don't have to then discard. Don't want a Thraven Charm, that's fine. I'll actually just village right it. Don't want a Thraven Charm this now. Don't want to waste a Thraven Charm on this. That is okay by me. I'll village rights this now. Do we get an extra drown? We do not. So this fizzles, this fizzles, and then we weather. So this definitely should, so note to self that this definitely should be snuff out because we would have won about six turns ago. I don't want to rumble either. Rumble uh, can't hit drown. That's something to note. And I need double drown. I need a discard to hand size. So I'm going to discard probably the rumble. Eviscerators plus swamp, yeah. So I can eviscerate, right? So eviscerators, and one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. So I can eviscerate is the treasure and st don't hit this two five. So that's that's ex oh, come on, you're just making it hard work for me now. So we're gonna have to, I think if I'm sure, so we're gonna have to evolution witness now, evolution witness, bring back the shambling ghast, yeah. That's the player. 19, sure. So, let's start by playing a land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so ever, uh, let's play a Refractor. Shambling Ghast. Let's play Shambling Ghast. Let's play Evolution Witness. What a game. Jesus. Trying to fathom out getting past this Honor Guard is so annoying. 
Cracker close, sure. So this becomes a 4 3, so I can start blocking these as well. I can still attack with these though. So I can't block anything even. They are attacking me. Why are they attacking me down? Okay. Well, let's see what happens when I do this. Do they have another Thraven charm? They don't. I'm gonna hit. Do I hit the Nightblade here? Probably not, right? Because once. Oh, maybe I need to. No. No, I have to hit the Shaman Gas, right? I think the night blade's like secondary to it all. Uh take that. We're at 14. We don't have much much time left to be fair. So there's an insight here. 20 something cards left in my deck. Trip Does this work? If they've got a thing it doesn't, right? Plus two plus two, whatever the card's called. Let's play Shambling Gast. Play Shambling Gast. Play a land. And then are we just passing here or do we drown? No, we just pass, right? And we assume we're not going to die. I like the bravery and the assumption. But we need to find a way to either bring something back or we're going to start buffing up the... Yes. So we'll take that again. Got a nine. We have zero. Zero duresses. To see if they've got a thing in the, in the deck. I just need them to overcommit here. Or just let me have a second round. Got a plan, sure. I did a Grange on that. So now I need another Shambling Gast. Or another Drown. Deadly Dispute. So, two cards in hand. Do they have... I think I need a Village Rights this. Target creature gets minus one, minus one. We're going to have to go for this now and hope that we get it in four cards. Second round. Safekeeping. Deadly Dispute. Minus one, minus one. Not looking hopeful. Now I don't have a second black source. Right? Can I? A third black source even. Drown. Seriously? Come on. I have three drowns. Two drowns, sorry. In the bottom ten cards. Um. Maybe I didn't need to go for it there. I just could have drew cards off the treasures and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna find it now, Anna. Sadistic third sadistically, thanks. Uh let's insight. So I need both of the drowns here. And the second weather. So what do we play this land? So we're gonna play this. Jesus Christ. We literally have eleven cards left in our deck. Forest that we don't need. So we're discard. I don't even. Uh, discard a brood scale, a glee, and a land. What a stupid thing. Five, six. Yeah. So I think oh, we're just dead, right? One, two. So we're just gonna kill. So a block here. It's so nine. Block here. Take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're just dead, right? I probably should have just cast the... I didn't draw as many cards, but it wiped the board. So I don't think we're dead. But yeah, note to self, don't need weather. Weather is irrelevant in this situation. It should just be snuff out for these. I thought Drown and, and uh, stand, uh, Shambling Gas would be good enough, but clearly not. We just die, right? It'd take exactly, or minus one, minus three. That was so frustrating that the, the last Shambling Gas and then two... Deadly disputes are all in the bottom. Like, where are they at? Stupid. See you guys for the fifth and final round. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number five. Let's see if we can uh, manage to squeeze a 3 2 out here. Pretty annoying that it, it probably should have been a, 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 a 3 1 at the moment. Uh, the white weenie one, obviously, with more reps with the deck, I would have realized. Obviously, I forgot. I, c I haven't played Glee that much in like that long. That it's prob probably, um, it's awkward because I'm past the point of realising what people's hate is. And I completely forgot that they were on like six to eight standard bearers. Which then makes it obviously awkward. Because I would have brought in snuff out of a weather the storm. But we were in game three at that point. So, yeah, it's just just an awkward one really. But we live, we live and learn. We live and learn. Um, we go again. 
Uh, we've got a fire multi six. Uh, we've got combo in hand. We've got a piece of protection and a deadly dispute in case we draw a shambling gas to Caldy Garden or a, uh, a wellspring. So I've got a lot of high hopes for this. We'll lead on landscape to get a forest. Uh, depending on the deck, we might even just literally turn two brood scale. Like if it's a non, non interactive deck. I don't know what like walls, for example, island. Uh. So it could be quite risky here to run this out right now. Could have force spike. Could be mono blue and force spike. Could have. Oh no. No. Screw it. If they've got force spike, they've got force spike. No force spike, please. Hopefully they'll just start with a spell pierce. Okay. They could be on blue black as well, blue red. More uh, lot not likely blue red, but blue black. So they could actually just play Aqu uh, Aquafire plus. Uh, snuff this which would be pretty annoying because i have at least would at least like the deadly dispute they might snap this as well they are on neither wellspring huh we play land we will uh attack attack for two they take two so the most likely uh blue mono blue my guess would be i can't spell this too they don't i'm gonna save a can't spell for an actual relevant spell and now we've got a deadly view. I, I did black, 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 leaving green open to uh, safekeeping in case the ta uh, they uh, safekeep in case they bleh, do that. <clears throat> so I am actually going to do this because this might be their only piece of interaction. They only run four boomerangs. So this is fine. This doesn't happen. They might end up end up having to like fight to try and find spells here. So. Or in revealed, but this makes me think that they are mono blue, and this carry on confirms this. So then I play that. Do they have another boomerang? Uh, another swamp. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually <clears throat> attack and pump. Nice. This is quite relevant. Getting the uh, spawn token down now, and then we'll probably just look at deadly just and have it here if they tap low, like if the thought scour or whatever. Um. I'm in a deadly dispute. If they have a spell pierce, they've got a spell pierce. It's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's not the end of the world. I'd rather get this spell pierce out of the hand now. Another glee. It's great as well. Brainstorm Island. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can terror. They might just play land double terror. Brainstorm. Hey. Okay. I'm going to play a threat. The land and nothing. So, if they don't have a boomerang, if they just have counter magic, this is great, right? So, let's try this. And even if they have boomerang, it's pretty fine, right? Not a spell, sure. Second gling. GG. Because that's attack for infinite. Thoughts go themselves. They actually should have. There's no, no card that actually wins them the game there. So, randomly, unless they're playing foil, which I doubt they're playing foil, there is actually no reason for them to thought scar themselves there. Like, they've now just shown me they've got force spike. So, likely, I won't do this play next turn because they've, I've seen they've got force spike. Um, but they could have thought scar me to get more information out of my deck. Like, there was no reason for them to do that. But, hey, yo, each their own. So, I think I just want Mezfiend's Boomerang list, however. Um, cut a Rumble, cut a Blood Fountain, and probably a Safekeeping. Call it a day there. Then we've still got some form of interaction. Just want to try and rip the hand apart. Um, so, I think this hand's a keep. Depending on what the player depends on what we do. If the lead on Delva, we'll lead on Gast. I think... And then we hope it doesn't flip once, like the first turn. Um, we have combo plus payoff too. That's not nothing. Uh, we can also follow up on Shambling Gast, uh, Village Rights of Shambling Gast, uh, play Calendar Garden. Depending if they, if they don't lead anything, I'll probably just play Calendar Garden. Like if they don't play, if they just play Island Pass, I'll just play Calendar Garden. If they play Delver, then I'll play Shambling Gast. I don't know if I'm if I'm supposed to board in snuff out here. I can see it, to be honest, but I also don't think it's probably right. I don't know. It's like good at alleviating some pressure. Um, 
Is that shambling ass? They might brainstorm, try and force this to resolve. Uh, try and force this to flip. If it doesn't blind flip, I think I'm laughing. Like, being able to kill this with this. I just really don't want this to flip. They're probably thinking about No. No. Give me a break, man. So. So I need to get a treasure off this. I'll probably calmly guard and village rights for a treasure. I don't kill. I don't think I shan't. Do I kill the shaman guys? I don't know. Uh, we hit for three, sure. Broodsgale.com. So I'll play the calmly guard. Uh, I'm obviously not blocking, so I might as well attack. All that is fine. Attack for one. I don't think we'll win in that race, that's for sure. Probably got a Thought Scout in the turn. Which, oh, Mental Note. So they've now shown me that they've got Thought Scout plus two unknowns. Did it, or did the Shuffle? Second Shambling Ghast is quite interesting. As that's an actually a way to kill. Brainstorm. Oh. So the middle of Terror Rover and a Boomerang. But no, still got no Glee. Um, this is where it is. Land. Attack for three, sure. One, two, three, four. Rumble, huh? So I guess I play sh second shambling gust. And I'll probably just play Rumble. Do to do here. They might count on this to be honest, because that's two minus one minus ones on this. And this is their only pressure. I don't. Um uh, do I rumble or do I get a second black sauce? I probably get a second black sauce, right? Mm, four cards in hand. I can I actually do think I rumble here. If they counter it, they counter it. It's another counter spell that they don't have. Um Spawn's obviously great for the Yep. Okay. And then show me the dots go. I didn't attack either. Whoops. My bad. My bad. Thought scour that we knew about. Four spike and deep analysis in the bin. That's pretty good going for them. Attack for three. Wonder if they got a terror. They are gonna terror. Uh, so do I go Deadly Dispute? Yeah, I'm gonna Deadly Dispute this one, create a treasure. Create a treasure. See if it resolves. So we're gonna create a treasure here. They might respond with a spell, but they don't. Okay. Got two. Oh, swamp. Uh, Jurassic. What you got? What you working with, bruh? Four spike. I mean, I'll pay the one. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile, right? There you go. Nothing. You got nothing left. Sure. Um, do you know what? I actually think the player is playing a brood scale. We already know they've got nothing. They can draw land uh, or deep analysis draw land and do a brainstorm. Like, they need to find cards. They can also just try and put us under as much pressure as possible. Um, I might end up taking... If I take eight... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Unsure. I'm basically thinking, do I take eight here? But I probably don't, right? I probably just block here. Create a treasure. One, two, three. Create a treasure, play Nightblade. They're going to play a Serpent, I'm assuming. Unless they found a piece of interaction. Lorien revealed. Shuffle. Their land play Serpent. The Delver. So they've got a no Lora spell piece up. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to play this. I might even sack the brood skill, you know? Hmm. Unsure. So I can basically, what I'm thinking here is I can adapt the brood scale, make some mana. That doesn't flip, right? That's perfect. But then also just do that and block, but then still sack the brood skill. Yeah. Could do that also. So I'm thinking I can adapt this, go block with the old one on here. Deep analysis on yourself. You got four cards. That's sixteen. Mm, I probably just adapt right and just make an O one, and then block here, and then I look at sacrificing the treasure to the Eviscerator's Insight. Another Delver. Sure. Hmm. 
I'm trying to think what the best way out of this is. Like, obviously, they've got something. Like, most likely a no. Let's start with a deadly dispute here. See what we get. We get da -da 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 another eviscerate inside. That is not good. So, what's the best thing to do here? Probably play a land. Play this. Three, six, nine. So, we die if. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. So. I flipped. Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have played this. Right. Um, now, in the prey, it doesn't flip realm. Oh, yes. Oh, shield. And I'm going to swing here with these two. And I'm going to block here. We're just going to hope them two don't flip. Right? That seems reasonable. Seven, eight, nine. Mm, should I bring in stuff out or not? That's my only question. If it flips, we die. Doesn't flip. We don't die. Nice. We're now at the point where we're actually really close to just killing them, right? Like, they've got a nine here. And we're swinging for three, six, seven. We've got five. But they're going to get to the point where they have to block with these. Unless they're going to play one of these. Memory Mystic? Sure. What do we need? Calney Garden. I think Calney Garden's not the worst. Not the worst draw in the world. Still would like this. Shambling Gast. Do I just kill one of these? Uh, Probably best. So that means we don't die. Right? Draw. Two more cards. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Some are good, some are good, some are good. Village right, Wellspring. So we wanna... If we attack with both of these, three, six, seven, eight. So we do have lethal in a sense. Also not in the same sense. Um, so I also don't want to play anything for them to spell pierce. Because then that's lethal if that flips right. Mm. So then I then have to block. I have to pass, block, and then village rights. Yeah, it's probably the best bet. Cool. So there were two cards in hand. We are going to... If this flips, we still don't die. Because I didn't play a bird. Or I like that. Thought scholar. Okay. What well, close game. So we're going to have to probably... So there's a thought scholar here. That's fine. We're going to have to block with a brood scale. Here. Right, take six, go to one. We'll block this here if they attack all out. I'm assuming they're going to swing all out or they're just swinging in the air. Let's do this. See what happens. They might count this, which is fine. Yep. Fine ish. There's a spell pierce. Two cards left. We're on one. There's a cryptic seven. So the last card's probably in a null. Seven, eight. Eight mana. Uh, I need to see what that card is, if I can. Uh, Wellspring again. We've still got a land drop, so it's at the end of the world here. Mesfiend. That is perfect, right? Mesfiend. Wow, what a game. They've got an island, they've got nothing. They've got absolutely nothing, let's go. Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. I should have just went for it, right? We've got two. Then block here, bounce, and I can't, yeah. Should have just went for it. Really awkwardly. Mm. Annoyingly enough, if I actually just untapped Drew, went for it, I... Did I have it or not? I don't know. I needed the Mezfiend though, anyways. Am I supposed to bring in snuff outs? Um, maybe I'd bring in... Two snuff outs, take out two Tamil safekeeping. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, so I'll take the play. <sighs> Can't keep an all under. Uh, I think this sounds fine. Probably bottom in a shambling gast, unfortunately. And then we just have to go awkwardly with these landscapes. I really... Like, I like the idea of landscape because obviously it's... A land that obviously works well with the, the witnesses and all the cycling stuff, but it really slows your game plan down. Like, imagine if this is a swamp, just swamp shaman gast into deadly dispute. Like, we are laughing, but now we're just a pile of awkward cards, and I can't even dress away their thing. If they, I can't not even dress a shaman gast away this delver. No, nope. okay, 
So I'm gonna play and play land here, and then I'm gonna play Shambling Ghost. I played it this way to avoid Force Spike. They've already shown us they've got Force Spike. You can Lorien reveal to your heart's content. I will likely get a gr uh, Black Sauce. You gonna hold up everything? Nothing. Back this black. Uh, so the best way forward here. I think I'm just gonna pass right, and then we'll look at when they tap out. We'll just deadly dispute. Rah. Mm -hmm. Do it now. Yeah, probably. Make a treasure, and then at least we can double as well. So if they do spell pierce, then we'll have to spell pierce now. Nope. Okay. It resolves. Sweet. Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five. Is it Delva? No. So we can actually just play land. Um, Do I want to Mezfiend? Nah, probably not. I'm probably just Shambling Ghost. Hi! Or Mezfiend next turn, I think. So we don't have to use treasures. Do so have to do again. They'll probably like Thought Scar or something here. Echo and Truth, that. Um, again, going to Deadly Spirit. No value for you. I was going to do it anyways. Insight and Deadly Dispute are great cards here. Need them to tap slightly low. Let us get some draw going. The miss on land drops. Double threat is pretty bad. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. So they can tap out. They have, they're most likely have a Terror. Um, and they can tap out for that if they want to. If they don't, that's fine. Right. Play. So let's start with this. See what they do here. Hard count spell. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to play this land out. Then rumble. Try and find a glee. We found another brood scale. Oh, I don't hate that. I do not hate just hard casting a brood scale here. Let's start getting aggro. Oosh. One, two, three, four, five. So they can obviously just play a terror or a serpent or something. And then it kind of brick walls us, but... This also leaves us to be able to be attack like to be able to attack um and put quite a lot of pressure on them if they don't have a threat. Which there is a chance that they don't. One, two, yeah, they do. One, two, three, four. Okay. Duress. Huh? Yeah, let's start with duress, see what they got. You have a hard counter? You have three islands. Wow. Damn. Damn, son. Great treasure. You've got three islands. Ouch. Glee. Glee. Oh, yes. Oh, Jill. Uh, we'll play this. <clears throat> Sack. Oh, Jill. And that's all Jill did. Uh, oh. I had hold of W. Green. Uh, we'll actually go black first, right? Yeah, black's first. Bah. Uh, on this. Uh, another glee perfect perfect now we actually have lethal this is two infinites Woo! so overall i think the deck's pretty sweet uh i really do like the deck um i think what's the best way to describe it i think i still really dislike rumble in these sort of decks like it helps for speed purposes but like post board you're just like right i need to cut rumbles because all my cards are spells basically like all these like you've got what 12 out of the 15 those spells so you just instantly want to cut rumble um which is pretty annoying but i guess game one it's fine uh the blood fountain sort of loop is nice but never really came up for me um and then obviously the mistake with the post board for white weenie is also bad but again with more reps this deck is like you're definitely a solid choice and i really do i did like shambling ghast great way to add speed great way to deal with really annoying cards like crackling shaman standard bearer etc so really sweet deck really sweet league also check out cali's channel obviously always great check out mana trades as well if you want to rent this deck like i did and i'll see you guys for the next one peace